Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Janelle Pilgrim and I'm the friend that tells you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. As I was saying before, I'm the friend that tells you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about your makeup. I'm gonna be installing this wig. It's a... I don't know which curl this is. I don't know if this is a loose curl. This is water wave. The point is, I was told, but I just, I really don't remember. This is from AM Extensions. I'm going to be putting the link below. This is a transparent 13 by 4 wig. Something that was like really nice about this wig, it came with a band and it's a full 13 by 4. Don't watch how I messed up the thing with trying to bleach the knots. Mm-hmm. Let me stop playing. So I'm gonna use this pencil to just mark around it. I always cut behind the line. Father God, please don't make mama shop this way. Come I like it. Let's put it on and see. Let me just fix the air tabs. And it just needs a little bit of adjustment, not too much. That's how it looks. I already feel like this is gonna give me something i don't know what yet but something by the way i use one of these to cut the combs at the top out they hurt so much one of these with caps i don't do the ball cap method because of many reasons but the main reason being that based on my hairline and all of that i won't be getting into that i'm gonna go ahead with some lace tint on the inside of the wig Oh my god, I ran out of lace tint. Of course, I saw this trick on TikTok and it's an X alcohol with six pumps of your foundation. Did I just waste six pumps on foundation? No, my scalp is burning. I'm just using a tiny bit darker foundation shade. For this wig, let's start by cutting it into three parts. So section one, section two, three. No spatula and glue. First layer, normally just put this all the way across for the second one i try to work in sections i just do this layer pretty quick and i bring it back not forward this is gonna be my first time wearing a curly wig comment down below if you think i should have went longer first layer down this is my second layer now i have somewhere to be at seven i'm getting behind my ear let this second layer dry down just a tiny bit just clear enough this is clear enough <laughs> i'm not gonna wait anymore next thing you know i have to put on another layer get this out of the way uh oh okay too white too white that would have been a disaster let me not bring this too far down and i cut this too far up but you know what that's fine let's charge it to the game so we can see a little mistake there little mistake here little mistake here but we have to fix it My head is getting light. I'm just cutting off the excess lace. Why do people say access? I'm just asking for myself. Access lace. Let me show y'all something. Because everybody loves showing y'all stuff from out here. But let me show you something from up close. This. Let's go back in with some extra glue. Around the edges of this. Flip this up. Do little dots. And then we gonna play connect dots today. If anybody ever tells you that wigs are quick and easy, they're lying. They probably don't care about how their wig looks when it goes on. Y'all won't catch me slipping with this lace thing. I promise you. Hold these on for a good couple minutes and then we're gonna cut off the excess. Just keep melting it and cutting away the excess lace. When I'm cutting, I just kind of do like a zigzag motion. This is how it looks up close. Not that bad, but not perfect. So now we're gonna fix that. Spray this on the top of literally anything that I can find, like so. Use the back of a rat tail comb. I'm gonna put it on the lace right here. And then we're gonna have to melt it again. I don't like when it gets on the hair, just on the front part of the lace. I'm gonna take the baby hairs out after I do this melt. To be fair, it's a lot of work, but is that you want your hair to look good or you don't? Take out a little bit of this for baby hairs. This is what happens when you bleach your knots too much. I'm just gonna try to take out a little bit, little right here. This week I've come out good. I'm not sure about nobody else, but I'm not having a stay back with it on my head. 
We're just starting to get somewhere after 10 million years of trying to do my hair. I've been wig nuts powder and I used a little brush and I placed it on the lace. You guys can see this side. Let me do this side. Lace gone. See. At this point, I really should rename myself as Jenny Pilgrim, the friend that tells you the truth about everything. You guys see how I was struggling a while ago? I know this just looks so great. I went really close to the camera. Parts like this now, take a little bit of that powder and press it in there because I don't like seeing it. A bad wig shall never be my portion in Jesus' name. I'd rather to wear my hair than to ever wear a bad wig. That's all serious I take this. Honestly, this is some really, really, really good transparent lace. And to be honest, it gone. You're really never gonna be this close anyway. But if you are, it's an entire illusion. For these, you see because it's not real hair and it can't grow back, I normally cut it longer. And then I start going shorter. I'm gonna use some of this regular mousse, this one basically on its last straw i just put it on my baby hairs i don't like the fluffy baby hairs look then i lay them using a rat tail comb so you guys get the gist i always want to give cute i put the hair dryer on the cool setting and i basically just dry them down you can do a little take down see exactly what we're working with let's I spray some water. I use literally any bottle that I can find that has a spray because I'm tired of losing all the spray bottles that I buy. I don't think you have to do this if you don't want that wet curl look. You can keep it like that if that's your vibe. But babe, that's not mine. Hold on. Let me put this band back on. This is damp. It's not wet, but damp. I really like the feel of this hair, like the texture is really nice. I'm going to be using this Vigoral Curls Mousse. It's very different from the Lots of Body Mousse because as I said, it is a curl mousse. And you see how the mousse just defined all of the curls. I do want a center part. So once I fix this center part, then I'm gonna spray a little bit of this high intense beam on it. For my first curly wig install, this actually turned out really, really, really nice. At first, like it was a struggle, I guess because I hadn't applied a wig for such a really long time, I felt like I was a beginner. If you do as I say, this would be very easy to install. I actually really do love this wig. I thought that probably curly hair wouldn't fit me because if you guys see me in a wig, it's always straight. I stick to what I know. But my hairstylist said that this would look really nice. And I'm happy that she got me out of my comfort zone to try this. Let me know if you guys like this install and if you would try it yourself. Let me know also if this video was easy to follow and you'd like to see some more wig content from me. I love the results. I love the hair. I didn't need to do a lot to it for it to look nice. I didn't even need to bleach the knots, but I did anyway because I like give myself trouble, clearly. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it. Also, if you've been here more than once, don't forget to subscribe. Follow my Instagram so that you can see my weekly updates and my tips because when I'm not posting here, I'm definitely over there. Also, follow me on TikTok. It's at MenuJP for every social media. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. See you in the next video.